Welcome to Daily Devotions. My name is Raymond Gregory, and right now we're talking about spiritual gifts as we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And so we kind of did an overview in the last two videos, so if you missed those, you might want to go back and check those out. But today we're going to be talking about a subject that might surprise you. And that subject is that there is actually no spiritual gift of discernment. Now, there are gifts that fall into the category of discernment, and we call those the discerning gifts. And so we're going to tackle a little bit about, or talk a little bit about that uh, today in this video. And uh, I don't know if you remember back when Apple Maps first launched, there was a big epic fail on the part of Apple. They wanted to do their own maps, so they got rid of Google and went with their own system for maps. Well, we were trying to get to SeaWorld and we typed in SeaWorld and it gave us directions to SeaWorld. Well, it gave us the directions to the back side of SeaWorld, which was across an entire lake. And so when we got there, we're like, okay, yeah, we made it to our destination, but we couldn't go into SeaWorld. So then I had to download Google Maps and figure out, okay, yeah, there's actually a different way to get here. And since then, Google Maps has actually been doing really good. And so I use Google Maps for everything. And there's this one feature on Google Maps that's pretty awesome. So I can map my route. And if I hit traffic, it'll say, we found a faster way for you to get to where you're going. Tap to accept. Well, the discerning gifts are kind of like the tap to accept when it comes to uh, spiritual gifts. And so I have titled this devotion, Tap to Accept. All right, again, so we're talking about the discerning gifts. So let's start reading in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 4, and then let's get into it. So it says, There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. Okay, so let's break it down into three categories because we see this word different three times within these passages and uh, three verses. So number one, there are different kinds. So we're in this chapter, we're tackling these different kinds and we call these kinds uh, activities. Um, and they're, the three kinds are discerning, declarative, and dynamic gifts. Now the activities is comes from the Greek word uh, for energy. And so these are different kinds of energies that the Holy Spirit supplies us. And then number two, there are different kinds of services, which is ministries. So the ministries of the Holy Gifts, uh, Holy Spirit. So apostles, prophets, evangelists, and then pastor teachers. And then number three, different ways. You know, in verse seven, a spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. It is given to us in different ways, but the ultimate goal is to help the church, not to help ourselves or to prop ourselves up. So, uh, the word for spirit that is used here, the Greek word for spirit is uh, pneuma. You, you ever heard of pneumatic? Well, it's basically the word for wind or breath. And so literally what it's saying is these, these spiritual gifts are God-breathed gifts. So they come from God and they're for the benefit of the church. And so let's jump into verse 8 here. It says, to one person, the spiritual gifts or sorry, to one person the Spirit gives, so God breathes, the ability to give wise advice. To another, the Spirit gives, or God breathes, a message of special knowledge. The same Spirit gives great faith to another, and to someone else the Spirit gives a gift of healing, gives to one person the gift of uh, power to perform miracles, and the other the ability uh, to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another spirit. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because a lot of folks might say, you know, I have the, the, the spiritual gift of discernment. Well, when you look at what the Scripture says, it says to discern whether a message is from the Holy Spirit or from a, another spirit. So the discernment gift is really a category of spiritual gifts. And so... Discernment is basically, the word means the ability to judge well. Well, if you want discernment, you just read your Bible, because the more you understand about God's word, 
it makes it to where you can judge well. You can judge uh, right and wrong and all these things. And so discernment is attainable through uh, learning more about God's Word. But it in, in and of itself is not a God-breathed gift. It's a result of a God-breathed Word. I'll say that again. Discernment is not a result of a God-breathed gift. It's a result of the God-breathed Word. And so if you want discernment, read more of God's Word. Hebrews 5.14 says, Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. So the Greek word for discerning is diakrino, which translates out to be uh, to judge thoroughly back and forth. So to look things over back and forth and to judge thoroughly. So what are the three gifts that fall within the category of the discerning gifts? Well, number one is the word of knowledge, which is to know something specifically without having uh, a natural means to know it. So, uh, and then uh, another one is the word of wisdom, which is more of a divine answer to a solution or particular event. So I mentioned earlier that I, I've titled this Devo, Tap to Accept. So hopefully this will help uh, you understand a little bit better about the differences between these gifts because they seem very similar, but they're very different. So knowledge would be like Google Maps, right? You need directions to a particular place, you type it into Google Maps, and it gives you a step-by-step uh, process in which you can take to get to where you're going. It gives you the directions. The wisdom would be your traffic updates, or would be someone to tell you, hey, yeah, Google Maps tells you to go this way, but don't take the freeway after 4 p.m. because it's gonna be packed. And so knowledge is knowing where you're going. Wisdom is knowing the best way to get there so as if you're driving and you're running into traffic and your google maps pops up and says we found a better route tap to accept that is a word of wisdom so hopefully that helps uh clear that up for you now the third one is this the discerning of spirits the discerning of spirits so what does that mean And a lot of people take this to mean, oh, I have the gift of discernment. Uh, I can discern whether or not that guy is good or bad and all these things. Again, if you want discernment, read your Bible and it's all there. The discerning of spirits is to be made aware of the presence of a demonic spirit or to uh, decide between true and false doctrine. So have you ever been listening to someone speak, maybe at a church, maybe you're a guest at a church or you don't know who the speaker is? And they start to speak, and you're like, okay, yeah, they're opening the Bible, they're talking. But then you start to get an idea of like, wait a minute, I don't know that what he is saying is really from the Lord. Well, that's an example of the discerning of spirits. And then he drops the bomb on you, and and it says something completely heretical or something like that. Then it's confirmed in in your mind, okay, yeah, uh, I had a discerning of spirits. The Holy Spirit gave me a check about what was being said. And so... Um, that is one example of the discerning of spirits. And so, to recap, we have the word of knowledge, which is Google Maps. It's the directions to where you're going. Uh, the word of wisdom, which is, uh, hey, don't take the freeway after 4 p.m. Or, hey, we found a better route, tap to accept. And then the discerning of spirits is, is to you know, discern between a demonic spirit or maybe... Because, you know, Satan knows the word... Uh, Uh, like the back of his hand as well. And so he'll use it and he'll twist it to uh, keep you away from the Lord, which is important for you to have the Holy Spirit in your life to help you read and help you understand and uh, have wisdom and knowledge about uh, what the Word says. So those are the three discerning gifts. And uh, again, uh, you don't really have the gift of discernment, but you might have... um, one of the activities the Holy Spirit might enable you, uh, the activity to speak the word of knowledge or to speak a word of wisdom or to have discerning of spirits. And so that is the first category of the three categories of the activities of the Holy Spirit. I hope it blessed you. And that's what I have for you today. If uh, if it did bless you, maybe give this video a thumbs up. If you're like, I don't, I still use Apple Maps, you're an idiot. And then you can give it a thumbs down and, uh, you know, it, again, it'll crush my spirit. But 
you know, I have the Holy Spirit, so whatever. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you would like to join this journey with us, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification. And then you can shoot me in the comments um, any questions that you might have about this, and I'll reply. I get on here every day about 3 p.m., so I'll, I'll reply for sure. And I love you guys. Also, you can send me prayer requests at Raymond at RaymondGregory.com. And tomorrow, we're going to talk uh, about... Uh, the dynamic gifts. What are the dynamic gifts and how are they used and what are they for? So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.